What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I did the pulse width modulated fan control or the variable cooling fan control. In one of my last videos, I put forward focus electric fans and I put a controller on there to make it so I could control that fan at like 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50% duty cycle so it had variable cooling speeds, it wasn't just on and off. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I did that. So let's get right into this thing. All right, so we are going to be talking about this on my 1986 Fox Body Mustang, but it doesn't have to be on a Mustang. It doesn't have to be Ford stuff. It doesn't even have to be Tuner Studio. You can do this on basically any standalone that you could think of. Holly, Mega Squirt, um, the Australian one, <laughs> no, Motec. Any, th there's so many things I don't even want to think about it. But almost any standalone can do this. So hopefully this can kind of help. All right. So the way I was able to accomplish that variable cooling fan speed was through fan controllers. And they're not some fancy fan controllers, they're just straight out of the junkyard. They're fan controllers off of a 2006 to 2009 Ford Fusion or a C6 Corvette, but chances are, if you're gonna go to the junkyard and do this yourself, you're not gonna be seeing many C6 Corvettes, you're probably gonna be finding Ford Fusions. So they're everywhere and very easy to find the right plastered on the side of the fan. I'll throw a picture up so you can see what I'm talking about. But that's all it is, it's just a little, uh, silver box and you just rip that thing off and you want to rip that thing off with the harness and everything on it because you'll need that harness to make sure you can use it yourself so but it's that fan controller and you get them from ten dollars at the junkyard it's absolutely nothing they don't cost anything I actually got two of them on my car and I'll link to the video so you can see exactly how I set that up but super cheap nothing to them so what this fan controller is actually doing is it's changing the frequency so you have a pulse width modulated frequency that um, Tuner Studio or Megasquirt, whatever standalone ECU you have, can only output such a high frequency and it'll only turn the fan so fast. These uh, fan controllers will push out 16.5K gigahertz. So a lot of frequency, really very extremely high. So no matter what you command in your standalone ECU, it's gonna output that really high frequency, but they are very quiet and they spin those fans really fast. And so the other thing is when you have, I've been seeing questions about it and I had to do a lot of research to figure it out myself, but these fans or these controllers handle a load of 33 amps as far as I know, because on the C C6 Corvette, that's the max amp draw of that fan was 33 amps. So we do know that's like kind of our baseline. We know that it can handle 33 amps and it probably can handle a little bit more, but the typical way guys are running this is the 33, or a controller with a fan and a 40 amp breaker and that's how they're setting it up on mine. I did two of those controllers and then I ran two 30 amp fuses with it because I knew that the amp draw wasn't going to go beyond that for each fan. So the way I had it set up was I have two uh, fans and each controller takes one. I just wanted to be extra safe just in case I didn't want to run the two electric fans off of one controller. Just because I didn't, I thought this was gonna be a better way. So you can run a relay on this, but you don't really have to. But I'll tell you why you want you would run a relay on this, is when you click the car on, you get a surge, and I'll have a video of it, but you'll have you'll get a surge and the fans will go And it's kind of weird, but I, it doesn't bother me, so I didn't feel the need to get more wires involved and more relays. Um, and then the other thing is when you click it off, the fans will surge again. They go I don't, you know what, it's weird. I don't understand it. Um, there's probably some really technical thing that explains that, but I don't know what it is. But if you wire in a relay, it'll kill that. But you don't need a relay. The controllers are fine. They can handle, like I said, um, at least 33 amps. So these controllers um, eliminate that really hardcore amp draw right off a of startup. Like, because you know, if you have electric fans on and you click on the electric fan, it goes, it just all of the power all at once. And that's what blows fuses, that's what br trips breakers. We, that's what hurts stuff. So on these controllers, actually what it does is just a soft, steady ramp up with the fans and you can dial that in in your tuning software, which we're gonna talk about later, but it, the fans go up and just 
and it doesn't put this hard amp draw on your electrical system so it's a lot safer too than just having it on a switch and just going uh, you know full beans <laughs> all, all, all the way I don't know so that is one of the benefits of it and so the way this thing is wired up too that's this is why you want that harness I was talking about earlier is it comes with five wires on the harness the little tiny one at the top is your pulse width modulated wire and then you have two red and two black wires and so each one of the red wire one goes to your battery and then one goes to the fan and then on the black side same thing one goes to your negative terminal on the battery or a cha or, yeah neg or chassis ground and then the other one goes to the negative side of your fans and that's how that controller is able to pulse width modulate that thing that fan and make it work and go exactly how you want it to do. It's super simple to set up. It's not hard at all. It's totally worth you know ten dollars for picking this thing up. And so the tuning software is, you know, I don't know if you could do this with like just a fan controller box thing. I, you know, I don't know. If you don't have a, a standalone ECU, I don't know if you can do this. I haven't done the research. If you're looking into that, you're gonna have to look that up yourself because you know I don't know. But so for if you have any kind of standalone, if you have you know. The Holly, if you have Mega Squirt, if you have Pro M, if you have any of the standalone ECUs, you could run this. There's just different settings in Tuner Studio are in the software, and you could make that happen. I'm going to be talking about Tuner Studio because that's what I have, and that's how I figured this all out to make it work for my car. So we're going to just go step by step through Tuner Studio and show you what I had to enable to make this thing work. All right, so let's go right into this and see what we got to set up in Tuner Studio. So when we're on our main menu, we're going to go over to Advanced Engine. So then we're going to see all of these um, generic pulse width modulated outputs. And so I have mine on A. And you can see this is the table I have set up. And it's been working really well for me to keep my engine nice and cool. Okay, so you're going to see on the left side of the table that you have to enable it. So my is enabled, so you just enable it. And then you have the output pin. Whatever pin you used from your tuner or MS3, that's the pin you gotta use. And then I just put my frequency on the highest one they had, but as we had talked about earlier, that fan controller is gonna push out a super high frequency regardless. But I just put the higher one in there to make it work good. And then so our load axis is gonna be coolant. And that cool, yeah, it has to be cooling because that's what we're trying to cool down. And then a table or curve, you could use a curve and that works good, but I, the table works better for me. So one thing is you can't turn off the fans when you go wide open throttle. And that's one of the biggest gripes I have about Tuner Studio and most people do. It's, it's a stupid little thing and I, I've heard they're gonna write it into the software later, but with this pulse width modulated output, you can't turn the fans off at 100% throttle and it just has to go off a of coolant. So you have a coolant side temperature and then you have an RPM and then you can populate the table with your duty percent in the center. So like when I'm at zero RPMs, I have the fans off because I found out that if you don't put zero in there and you click the key on, those fans will run like no tomorrow. <laughs> it's, yeah, you'll find that out fast. So I have that populated with zero just so those fans won't turn on and then I have the fans coming on at 500 RPM. And so you can see in my table, it kind of blends over. And so at 2200 RPM, or 2000 to 2200, it cuts off if I'm at 180 degrees. That means if I'm cruising and the car's at 180, it's just gonna not, those fans are gonna be off. But if the temperature rises, I have those fans kick in so it'll cool it back down and it's been working really well for me. So even though you don't have that option of being able to turn this off with wide open throttle, you can set up your table so it kind of works out the same way, plus or minus a little bit. So 95% is the highest duty percent and at 5% the fans won't come on, it's basically off. So that's how my table works and that's all you have to do to set it up in Tuner Studio. It's super straightforward, it's easy.
pulling a lot of air. So all my Holly users, yeah, there's separate videos on YouTube and if I can find them, I'll throw some links up, but there's lots of write-ups about this on Holly, but nothing on Tuner Studio. So, but you guys on Holly can go and um, find that and I'll even try to help and throw some links in there. Uh, but the bad part about Tuner Studio, just a quick, if you guys are trying to figure it out, because I put a whole bunch of time and effort into this. So if you're running AC, which I know a lot of the, your fast guys on here aren't running AC, <laughs> um, you have to, when you... It, there's no way for it to signal to the fans to turn on full blast when you turn your AC all the way on on Tuner Studio. It's there's it they have it in Holly, real nice, but not in Tuner Studio. So if you wanted to do that, you'd have to wire in um, a separate relay, and the relay would click on, and then you'd have to use two pulse width modulated outputs in your Tuner Studio software to make that work. Um, that's what I got. I haven't done it. I don't know if I am going to do it. I might, uh, you know, lots of thoughts, but that's one of the funky things about the Tuner Studio on this setup. Uh, but you could do it. That, that, I guess what I'm trying to get at is you could do it if you really wanted to. I just thought I'd throw it in there just so you know in case you start researching like I did and get thrown in this horrible rabbit hole of it somehow getting into a Miata forum and reading about how Miatas have this problem. So, you know. I hope I saved you a little bit on that. In conclusion, these things are great. Cost-effective way to get variable cooling fan speed on your, any kind of standalone actually. This doesn't just have to be on a Mustang. It's any kind of MoTeC, yeah. You, there's so many standalones, I don't even want to name them all, but you could literally, any standalone, you could do this in any car. It doesn't have to be a Fox Buddy. It could be anything you want. You can run variable cooling fan speed, and it's awesome. It, it, I was having serious overheating issues before this, and as soon as I wired this all in and have it, I don't overheat. Now, I have a 180 degree thermostat. I don't go over 185, ever, like at all. And I have junkyard fans, junkyard fan controllers, and it works like a charm. It works like OEM. I have more space, runs better, and I, there's more. It's just great. So I just highly recommend it. If you're looking into pulse width modulated um, fan control with your car, this is the way to do it. Um, super simple and easy. And yeah. So if I, you found value in this video and you want to see Turbo Fox Body dumbness from me because I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying real hard to go real fast. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll just keep putting out more stuff. So on that, I'll catch you guys on the next video.